Hello, this is Jane Scanlon from Cherish, Transform and Upgrade. Um, I am doing Coffee with Jane, which is an interview series with health and wealth, wellness professionals. Um, and I am here with Emma today. If you'd like to introduce your business for me, please. Yeah, hi Jane, thanks for having me. So I'm Emma Greenslade from emmagreenslade.com and I have a Facebook group called Wildly Successful Mama. So predominantly I help mums um, or any women in business and I help them play a bigger game and have the life and business they desire and deserve. Fantastic. It sounds like we work with similar ladies. Um, I too work with predominantly women and mothers um, who run their own businesses um, and are trying to get that life work balance and also putting themselves first through self-love rather than self-hate and like that pushing happening to be better rather than loving and stepping into that space. Yes, I call it force. Force. Yes. Definitely. It's either force or flow, isn't it? So flow yeah, feels so much better. <laughs> Um, we are both co-authors in Voices of Hope, which is launching uh, on the 23rd of November. Um, can you tell me, just tell me a little bit about your, your experience about becoming a co-author um, and where you feel it's going to lead you in your business? Okay, so yeah, it's been a really exciting journey, actually. And um, it was at the beginning, it was like, which part of my story am I going to tell? And how much am I going to go into depth? But you know what, Brenda's really held my hand all the way through it. Um, you know, and the excitement of the launch coming up. Um, had, so it's been really cathartic being able to tell my story uh, for the simple reason that actually it was you know it filled me with quite a lot of shame and guilt and also was how my children were going to respond to the story so I've had to be quite um cautious around some of the things that I've wanted to tell mm -hmm. um so I am looking forward to the launch sorry I've forgotten your question um how where do you think it's going to take your business where do, would you like it to take your business okay yeah so how so i really am looking i'm looking forward to the visibility i'm looking forward to making an impact in other people's lives and particularly women's lives mm -hmm. and how um you know how from the pit of despair as i call it, it there is a light there it is possible to climb out of that pit and uh be an inspiration to your family, your children, your community, and also the people that you serve within your business. Yes, 100%. And um, I'm positive that you are going to get all of that, um, the limelight that you deserve and just, you know, shining light on your story, um, your chapter of the book, and enabling that to help other women and families around the globe let's hope oh wow yeah yeah Limitless possibilities definitely um so with with my business cherish transform and upgrade the first part that i help women is really with cherishing themselves and putting that self-love in so with that in mind what's what do you do for your um kind of self-love routine rituals what what do you like to do on a daily or, or weekly basis <sighs> right so i like to go out walking i live in the beautiful cotswold so oh. i have got amazing walks around me and it's a really sacred land uh, that i live in so I, I really like getting connected with nature um and as much as i can i think that's my biggest self-love thing i love being in water oh me too yeah um 
So, you know, that might look like a swimming pool or it could be an Epsom salt bath with some beautiful essential oils. Um, I like laughing a lot. I like dancing. I've got a really big self-care, self-love practice. Um, it was one of actually the beginning when I was coming out of my pit of despair was that was the first thing I started putting in was massive self-care. Yeah. So yeah, there's and apps, I've probably got a list of like 500 things. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and I bet just for the, for the men and women that were out there watching us today, um, for, for me, this, it didn't come easily at first because I was so busy with life. Um, and uh, did you find that as well? That at first, all these other things got put in the way, but eventually you kind of found your, I found my alignment and realized that it, by putting myself first, my, my health, my wellness, mental health, physical health, um, it wasn't being selfish at all. It was practicing self-love and the, 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 the stronger emotionally, the more vibrant I was, the healthier I was, the more that rippled out to everybody else around me. Um, so I could help in a bigger way. I could love in a bigger way. Um, and just life became much better. But I had to get over that hurdle at first of I haven't got enough time. Um, what would you say your hurdle was for, um, for like getting on that journey? Uh, deserving mm -hmm. deserving of self-love self-worth uh, self-care um i think you know i i've always been um you know i'm a horse rider so i always used to that was my self-care when i was a young girl um but i li you know i watched my mum not really looking after herself very much and so that didn't kind of come in you know we don't think about it however what she did do was little bits and pieces you know she'd have friends around for coffee and what have you so I've watched her do those things but we think that's kind of quite normal don't we to involve other people within us so I think for me um yeah definitely self-worth and deserving and I suppose I mean when I lived in this country I was really busy but then when I went, moved to India, I suddenly wasn't busy at all. And actually I found filling my time quite difficult. Um, and I suppose that, you know, my whole life was around having my children. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I separated from my, uh, from the children's father, that's when I started looking at the self care journey again. Yes. And how important it was for me because it filled me up. It made me feel good. It made me feel joyous. It made me more present with my kids. Mm. Yes, definitely. A hundred percent. Now, although we can't quite go into uh, our transformations on this interview until the book launch has been complete on the 23rd mm. of November. Um, but how do you feel? Um, on an emotional and physical level, that your your how do you feel your transformation has has changed you, has upgraded your life? <laughs> can I swear? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> I can't. I don't take any shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good. <laughs> yeah. It's about discerning what's important, the values. Um, and yeah, how are you gonna? How I'm gonna fill my time? I, you know, I was just chatting this morning with somebody. They said that like if they meet somebody and they don't like them, that's it, they're out. Well, I I'm a little bit more kind. I two strikes and you're out. So it's about having you know if people don't fill me up with joy, then they just aren't in my life. And I think that yeah. is what's come out from my transformation. Yeah, I have to say that that is. Uh, that is very much true for me too and um, like yourself 
they, they, it's not one strike you're out. I, but I, I rarely meet people that I don't like, but sometimes it happens and I'm just like, oh, that's really strange. I just I don't want to be around you. I don't want to be near you. I don't like your <laughs> energy. This is weird. But, you know, nowadays with <clears throat> the circles I mix in, whoever the universe, the divine puts in front of me is pretty much 95% like bang on my kind of person. Um, but I do get those moments. Um, I've had to go, oh, that's weird. I've not, what do I do? Because I'm not used to it, you know? But again, like yourself, I'm like, I, I don't need, um, I don't need negative people in my life life is too short I think think, you know we need to learn the tools to how to deal with those negative people because they do tend to latch on they're like a bit like parasites and they um we definitely need tools to be able to get them away as quickly as possible (laughs) yeah and you see for some people my clients um I'm thinking of Uh, some people it's very difficult because they might work with the person like if you're in a social situation it can be quite easy to diffuse it and kind of move away and just think right well I'm not going to be friends with that person um but if you're going into an office and you're working with that person Monday to Friday it can be very hard to um emotionally disconnect yeah. from that person if you're in the physical space you definitely need the tools don't you to do that definitely yes um would you like to share anything else maybe uh, an offer that you've got uh, running at the moment yeah that that's brilliant thank you so i have got uh, you know i've got my usual sessions where i do energy work which are really powerful um uh, we, I can find out where a limiting belief is held within the body and uh, clear it right in the moment. We go back in time. So that's one of my offers uh, is just the single sessions. But then I've got starting, I think it's on the 11th of October, my money transformation, which is a combination of practical uh, exercises, worksheets, a bit of coaching going on. But then also the energetic of, uh, you know, limiting beliefs about money mindset or uh, <coughs> negative stuff that's happened. So that's a 12 week course. And then I've also um, just about to start because there's so many people in debt and it came about just because uh, in the past 12 months I've cleared my debt and people are asking, how have you done it? So I am going to be running a masterclass. I haven't quite worked out the details because it's literally come into my mind today. Um, yes. It be a masterclass or it might be a couple of sessions on how to clear down debt within a year. Fantastic. Well, that is definitely, definitely needed. And it's an exclusive on this interview. Woo! Watch out. We will be getting a masterclass um, or some form of program from Emma regarding um clearing your debt in 12 months that sounds awesome um i will just share my current offer um i'm running a, a free masterclass on how to smash your last quarter so i don't know many people probably set some um intentions in january and maybe two weeks in or maybe two months in the year it all dissipated (laughs) (laughs) so um in this masterclass i'm just going to be showing you how you can set goals easily from the heart with love achievable and stretch goals um and by by looking at all seven key areas of your life and setting 90 day goals that are going to challenge you a little bit but it's going to keep your motivation and your excitement up. Um, so I will put links in underneath this video for you to tap on um, and see the programs and the masterclasses. Um, but I think we will leave it there. 
Awesome. Thank you so much, Emma. And I can't wait to meet you in person at the book launch for Voices of Hope, which is the 23rd of November at the De Vere Hotel in Windsor. Um, once I get the full details of timings, I will equally put it underneath this uh, interview. Cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward okay. to it. Okay, so we'll say goodbye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> and I'll stop recording. There we go.